What's up guys, Sarah Burns, I'm here for another video. As usual, I'm here with my good friend Ty. As you notice, the scenery has changed. We are currently in my home studio because I have to quarantine and I'm getting surgery. It's nothing serious, it's on my sinuses, so I'm unable to go to the academy right now. You're gonna be seeing a couple videos from here, so please, please, please let me know what you think of the setup in the comments. It's not the biggest setup. I'm trying to work with what I got. You know, we're able to flow roll and we're able to do enough technique that I think it's still really good content, but I'd love to hear your criticism. So don't worry, we're gonna be back in the academy filming in the next, you know, two to four weeks. But again, I'm trying to make do with what I have. Quick plug, I just dropped my new instruction on BJ Fanatics all about the leg drag, so check that out in the description. But today we're gonna to be talking about the lasso guard and why you should know it. So let's just get right into it. So guys, a lot of people ask me what I think of the lasso guard. I think the lasso guard is a really good position to stall out, and I don't encourage stalling whatsoever, but it's a good place to stall out an opponent and find time to think. It's one of the harder, more meticulous guards to pass, and it allows you to maybe take advantage of maintaining guard against somebody that might be more advanced than you. So I don't encourage stalling, but sometimes you need like a placeholder where you can just think for a little bit, and the lasso guard can be a great place to do that. I don't do too much techniques directly from lasso, but I use it as a bridge to get into other positions that I like, like single leg X, um, De La Hiva, De La Hiva lasso hybrids, and certain things like that. So let's just discuss the basics of the lasso real quick. So the lasso starts when I have double sleeve control, okay? I can, I'm gonna combine it with spider guard. It's very rare that you see people play double lasso, right? Because there's not many attacks that you can do from a double lasso position. That's a really, really hard position to pass, and I don't like playing that. But a single lasso, I'm going to extend one arm on his bicep as if I'm playing a spider guard. If he ever has a grip, you always have to break the grip. Grips are pretty easy to break when you have double sleeve control from bottom. I like to pull his arm to me while I simultaneously kick my leg out. Sometimes I see people just pulling, and it's really hard. You have to work in conjunction with the kick, right? I need a push-pull, so I do this. Okay, and I really have to kick. Think about how much power you can generate with that leg press motion while you're pulling. Once you pull his arm to you, if he does have a grip, you're gonna come out and around and you're gonna go over his bicep. Big mistake beginners make is they go inside, okay, but I'm going outside and over his bicep and I'm gonna throw the lasso in. Now guys, there's two variations in the lasso. One is a little bit more shallow where my foot is in his armpit and one is a deep lasso where my foot is by his back and his lat. Okay, I prefer to play the deep lasso, but the shallow is just fine. So why is this such a good guard? I've now given him two different things to address, and let me mention that your foot has to be extended. You don't want this foot in for the most part. You want to keep it extended, okay? So again, our position is we're here. Maybe we start with both feet on the hips. We extend one, break the grip, come out and around, hook short, hook deep, Okay, and now I can find myself some time to think. Ty has to address my lasso hook. Ty has to address my spider hook. So I put him in a position where he has to think about what he wants to do in order to pass, as opposed to just being here where he can grab my legs and throw them. So just doing that is going to be enough to, again, stall out your opponent for a little and find time to think. There's a lot of things you can do from the lasso position, right? You can go for omoplatas. Okay, there's a lot of transitionary opportunities where I like to use it to bridge my opponent over me and then I can go in for like a single leg X. So we're going to be discussing that in future videos to come, but this video is solely for the purpose of showing you the basic positioning and showing you why it's beneficial to anybody. So again, I have both feet on his hips maybe, always keeping one foot extended, breaking the grip. So again, kicking my leg while I simultaneously pull his arm to me coming out and around, shallow, hooking the armpit, deep, hooking the back. What's the benefit of hooking the back? I can hold his posture more and it's really difficult for him to do anything. So from this position, I have a lot of control. And again, it gives you a lot of opportunities to go into different attacks that you may not have otherwise been able to go to if your opponent is just passing your guard. So sometimes in Jiu Jitsu, we have to find a place where we can slow down our opponent, especially when playing guard, and we have to be able to control them. Controlling the distance is another huge benefit of the lasso guard that I wanted to mention. So one more thing is if you're going with somebody who's much heavier than you, you want to find a distance management guard. And the lasso can be great for bigger guys because what's horrible is when somebody who's much stronger and bigger than me is able to put chest to chest pressure, shoulder pressure, and now I'm feeling their weight distribution. I can maintain good distance management with a lasso guard because when I'm here and here, if Ty tries to get close, it's really hard. I'm keeping him away. It's hard for me to feel his weight, 
So this is a great position, contrary to popular belief, for somebody who's smaller, because now for Ty to get his weight on me, he has to do a lot of things, again, addressing the lasso, addressing the spider. So I do encourage people to play the lasso. I think it's a great position to stop bigger guys. I think it's a great position to slow the game down. And I think there's a lot of benefits. We're gonna be making some videos on how I use it to transition to some of my more um, popular positions like single leg X, uh, X guard, going to different leg entanglements. So stay tuned for future videos. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the new studio. I know it's a little unorthodox, but again, guys, I wanted to make sure to give you guys more content so even when we are back filming at the Academy, I might try to make some smaller videos here just to keep pummeling stuff out. Thanks to my friend Ty. Check out the new instructional. Almost guys.